Hello everyone, this is Mike Celestino with Inside the Magic. Yesterday afternoon we received a bunch of Disneyland news all at once and frankly we're still kind of processing it ourselves. Now, we already knew that a fourth hotel was coming to Disneyland Resort over a year ago, but Disney finally made an official announcement about it and gave us a first look at some impressive concept art. So the big news here is how big the hotel is and how much of a footprint it takes up encompassing part of the downtown Disney parking lot and then engulfing a big chunk of downtown Disney itself. As Disney noted in its announcement, the new hotel will connect the three existing Disneyland Resort hotels via its gardens and pathways. It will also take over the downtown Disney monorail station and eliminate a number of businesses from the west end of the downtown Disney district. So this is the part that has a lot of Disneyland fans up in arms, because Disneyland has traditionally been more of a locals park than it is a tourist park, and locals don't really stay in the Disneyland hotels, but they do frequent the downtown Disney restaurants and shops. Disneyland officials confirmed that we'll be losing Rainforest Cafe, ESPN Zone, the AMC Theaters, Earl of Sandwich, and the Starbucks in that area, which just opened last year, all to make room for the new hotel. But they also added that there is a possibility that some of these businesses may return in some form inside the hotel itself once it opens. So while this is definitely sad news for fans of these establishments, and it's even worse news for their current employees, it also means Disneyland is continuing to grow and expand and hopefully bring in more of those tourist dollars while creating new jobs in the process during construction and in the eventual hotel. And speaking of growth and expansion, we also found out that two new parking structures are going up at Disneyland Resort over the next few years. One will be right next to the Mickey and Friends parking structure on the Pinocchio parking lot, and the second will be behind the Paradise Pier Hotel, servicing overnight guests at all four hotels once the big plan comes to fruition. That also means Disneyland has abandoned its Eastern Gateway project, which would have included a new parking garage and pedestrian bridge along Harbor Boulevard on the other side of the parks. Of course, this is all a part of a period of massive change for the Disneyland Resort, as Walt's original Magic Kingdom prepares to open Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in 2019, and Disney California Adventure is getting ready for a Marvel-themed land sometime later. Construction begins on the new hotel and parking garages early next year, and the entire project is scheduled to be complete by 2021. This is Mike Celestino with Inside the Magic. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you at Disneyland.